Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. Today we are going to load up this uh, handguard I made, not handguard, this foregrip that I made uh, that broke, and we are going to make it a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more stronger. Uh, I don't think that was proper English, but I don't really care. So let's do this. First thing, we have Fusion open. We want to open uh, our file. You want to make sure that you're using the uh, step file, not the STL. Step file. And that's going to be actually how the person made the part. So we see here that whoever made this, uh, we have our foregrip, we have a retainer, and then they modeled two bolts. Well, let's go ahead and remove the bolts because we don't need to see those. And let's bring the retainer out an inch just to kind of get it out of the way. So here we go. So the first thing we want to address is the, the strength and stability of it. Uh, mine cracked right here on this line, which makes sense because I printed it like this. So literally, you know, all those forces going back and forth, the weakest link is right there. So we kind of want to make sure that those layer lines have a little bit something more uh, meaty to grab onto. Now we can't add things in the middle because that's where the Picatinny rail goes and we can't really add things in the forward and back. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add things on this side. And one thing is there's this nice overlap here. So we're going to bring that up just to kind of uh, create some more support back here. So let's make the foregrip our active part. And then we are going to take and select that and we are going to extrude it up. Our distance is going to be two object and we just want it coming up that far. And that should add a lot of uh, strength to that part right there. One thing though is we can kind of see we have an issue with the holes. So we need to correct that a little bit. We will sketch on this face and just eyeballing it. We'll uh, make our holes a little bit bigger to allow our bolt to come in through. And we will extrude that out. Doesn't matter how far, but that gives us a little cutout for our bolts. If we did it on the other side, you know, we could easily sketch on that side. Um, an easier way would be to create a mid plane. Hit OK. And we can take that extrude and we can mirror it across that plane and now it's on the other side and we're good to go right so boom easy peasy lemon squeezy the next thing is i don't want to raise these up because like i said that's where the container rail is going to go or if you have any rail covers stuff like that so the next thing we want to do is we want to round these corners a little bit so all i'm going to do is i'm going to use a chamfer um, the reason I want to use a chamfer is because, you know, when we print it like this, um, we could do a round here, but we wouldn't want to do a round up here at the top. Um, so we're just going to use a chamfer just to keep everything consistent because we'll do that on the same side. And we'll bring it in just so it looks a little reasonable. That's fine. What are we, point 0.1? Totally fine. And boom. So not only is that going to make that piece a little bit stronger, it's also going to keep me from uh, complaining that, you know, that hurts my hands. You know, that might hurt a little bit, but uh, I think it'll be a lot better. It's not a sharp jacket point. We need to do the same thing over here to the retainer. So let's go ahead and make that our active part. And we'll do the same thing. Some chamfer. And we'll do that on all of these corners. Point one and that'll make it a lot nicer. So, you know, we had printed this one on its side, if I can get this set. We had printed this one like this. That will probably still print um, because we're printing with support anyway. That'll be completely fine. I'm not too worried about it. Um, so now when I take this part and uh, we move it back over an inch, and we see what the whole thing looks like. We have not pokies and we got some more support right here. We could add some more uh, support to this one if we uh, really wanted to, but you know, we're not going to because we're going to print that face down. Um, really, it won't add any strength. Uh, well, I mean, it would add some strength, but the juice just isn't worth the squeeze. So this looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and print it. We'll use the same print settings as we did before, uh, and we'll see how it feels.
So now that we got it off the printer, let's get it onto a rifle. So we can see this is the back side showing the retainer. We can see our chamfered edges. Flipping around to the other side, we can see where we added the extra support um, as well as the chamfered edges on this side. Honestly, now that it has those edges and it, it doesn't dig into your skin, it's, it's a lot more comfortable. I'm happier with this size. I don't think I'd want to add another ring to this. So it, it feels good. You know, I'm pulling back with quite a lot of force and it feels like it's holding on steady. A big thing is whether or not it can support the weight of the rifle. So let's hold on to this and let's let her swing. And there's no issue, you know. Would, would I think that, you know, just to show you I'm not holding on to it, do I think that this would, uh, would last forever? No, but uh, I think this is a, a nice little thing. Like I said, if you're going for a fully 3D printed firearm and uh, you want to have all the accessories with it, I think this will be nice to have. And I think I'm going to keep this in my collection in case I want to add a foregrip to one of my rifles that don't have a foregrip. Um, I can quickly add a, add a foregrip to it, no problem. And I like that the only other material it needs that's not 3D printed is just two metric hex nuts. If you're doing 3D printed, get one of those kits that you can get on Amazon that have all the different sizes on it uh, and just always keep that with you. So yeah, the upgraded foregrip will be uh, in my GitHub. Uh, so make sure you look at that as well as the Discord if you're having trouble get to that. Uh, please support me on Patreon and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Cheap Shot.